Hey there, Internet. Hola a todos. It's your old pal, Sir Nigel. Today, we, you and I, are going to play another retro game. This is King's Knight for the Nintendo Entertainment System. We'll have to share buttons. Only one button actually does anything. Well, two if you count the start button. I guess these are supposed to be magical creaturey, monstery things. This game calls for turbo fire. Let's get that turbo fire. One thing. Oh, stairs? Stairs? One thing that's rather unique about this game from the very beginning is the fact that you can actually blast through the terrain. Terrain blast in. Oh, oh, look at that. We just got all kinds of magical. You know, the ladies like it. More of those up arrows and squiggly lines that kind of look like stairs. Taking care of all the wiggly wobbly blobbies and flying doojamahickers as we on our nightly quest. Uh, that's nightly with a K N I G H T O. Avoid, avoid. Other letters. Uh, yeah, exactly what I was saying. Whoa, whoa, you see that? See that action right there? Oh, hey. Whoa. Boy. Now, what are we going to... Hey, okay. What are we going to do about, about this water here? Can we, um... Okay. Now we suddenly have a, a new character in a new area. More up arrows. So it looks like we're a wizard. And stairs. Does that does that mean dungeon run time? Let's, let's, get, let's get that and, and that and... Oh, in the spooky dark depths of spooky town under the village, because every village has a spooky town under, you know, Seattle kind of does have a spooky town underneath it. If you ever research it, it's kind of cool. Uh, where's, where's, okay. Random words. Oh. Now we're a dragon, because why not? And we are blasting through Marshmallow Hills, which sounds like a song. Dragon through Marshmallow Hills, and, and are these like magical ape creatures or something? Whoa! I think we're going to avoid this crazy stairway for the moment. Looking up arrow. Up arrows are always good. Dragons lead to easy deforestation, by the way. All oh, this crazy crap. Crazy crap all over the screen. Whoa, whoa. Now, can we go in the water? Yes, we can. But we're kind of slow. Okay, now we are dude. Official name, dude. I don't know how many characters are in this game. I'm guessing all the characters. They're all in this game. So these would be crabs? I s or are they lobsters or crabs? They kind of have that tail on them. Well, there's not. Is that a super up arrow? Super up arrow. No, it's kind of hidden in the middle of all the other junk, so we'll just ignore it. Into the water. Oh. Yeah, you kind of glide around when you're in the water. Oh, squiddy witty. Giant squids. Whoopy whirlpools. And, well, you can see what those look like. 
More squids everywhere! So I have to say, based on the level layout and the way the game plays, this game is rather different than other games of this genre. Oh, look at that. Squeaked between the two. Oh, on the land. On the land. So does that mean we can just... Oh, sh shouldn't do that, I guess. But we should get that. And some of that. More of it, please. Oh, that... Oh. Oh, we need more of those up arrows, please. Get these sort of slippery controls when you're in the water. I guess that's all the characters. Right on. We're playing as the night. Look at us go. We're just going all kinds of nightly things. Again, with the spelling of the K-N-I-G-H-T-L. You get the idea. Oh, magic. 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 They're not magical enough. Here we are, we're back at the water again, so we're just gonna jump in and swim around. Kind of float around a little bit. Get over, uh, get over to wherever. Okay, is this is this a good place? No, back up. Here we go. Yep, yeah, right. Oh, come on. Faster now. Oh, what's that? Oh. Okay, that was something magical. It's a maze. Gotta get through here. Come on, get over there. That's right. Get some of that right there. More power-ups. And here we go. Swimming around the water. Gotta be careful. Back on the land. Just taking care of all this stuff. Sweeping it all out of here. Like magical sweepy sweeper things. Another boot. I'll take that, please, and thank you. Oh, look at that. Whatever that is. It's good stuff. Well, now we're back to the next character. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, rub-a-dub-dub on that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Tune in again next time for more videos. And remember, if you tickle the Yeti, it might just tickle back. Hooah!